G'day, g'day, you bloody legends! Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be reacting to Back to You, play Mass Effect 3 part 35, 36, and 37. Let's go. We finally taken care of um, the Quarians. We got rid of the Reaper, which was on planet Rannoch, the home of the Quarians, the original home of the Quarians before the Geth took over that planet. Um, also, the previous videos it showed me, you know, the history of the Geths, like what happened between the Quarians. You know, the whole thing was, you know, it it didn't really come to light until I seen all that. I was like, yo, okay, so that that actually makes more sense. Like, um, the what started the war between the Quarians and the Geth was the the moment when the Geth said something I, I can't remember what it was uh i think it was does this unit have a soul something like are we alive or something like that and and that scared the quarians and they basically started now started an all-out war just because they're trying to shut down and get the geth were only protecting themselves you know and the whole thing kind of built a three-year century mess but anyways welcome back to mass effect 3 this is going to be part 34 i think i still trying to figure out what part is it uh, my videos are too long i had to you know cop chop in half and everything but make sure to get the likes the likes let me know if you guys want more content with my commentary leave a comment if you'd like subscribe if you're new to my channel feel free to share my content to people who actually support my channel uh, check out my older videos. Check out my previous videos that I just uploaded. Um, get to know my get to know my channel a little bit more. And let's jump right into it. All right. Um, <laughs> let's figure out where we are first. We got the war asset, which is um, fifty-seven zero nine military strength. That's in total. And we got the effective military strength, which is 2854. And you can see the green meter. That's full. Like, <laughs> look at that. It's full. But we got the readiness rating that's up 50%. I still don't know what's up with that. Like, it's like maybe we're halfway into the game. Or, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the crucible. We're still waiting on that. 50% uh, probably means we got enough allies or something. And the next 50% is the... Crucible. All right, let's go talk to whoever was on here. I think it was Hackett or somebody. Anderson. Hackett. Commander, something on your mind? Nothing more, sir. And Shepard, I thought you might like to know I've got word on your mother. Oh? She's alive and well and promoted to Rear Admiral. She's helping us plan logistics for the Crucible. Thank you, sir. That's a relief to hear. I figured having another Shepard around couldn't hurt, and she's damn proud of what you're doing out there. Hack it out. Yeah, I'll definitely hack it out. Hold on. Wait. You could have asked these again. They are different, alright? out lately um all the recording from episode 24 no 25 to just two videos ago i was so tired and exhausted i my commentary was just all over the place like i could not even you know i couldn't even make sense of my words my commentary is there it's just my words were not coming out like the way i wanted it So that's basically what happened. Lieutenant Commander Williams said something about enjoying some downtime on the Citadel. Might be a nice break for both of you. Oh shit. Um, okay. Hey, let's check the messages. Let's talk. Quarian War. Diana Allers. It may be hard to believe that after what we just went through, but the rest of the galaxy is barely where the Quarians ever went into the Vale, let alone start a war with the Geth. Okay, except and get in a cabin again um 
go ahead and pause and read all this you guys I'll try to read all this I understand from Admiral Zen that the, uh, screw Zen man Tali just wanted to let you know that I'm going to join Adams in engineering it seems like okay cool awesome <clears throat> All right, we're probably going to have to catch up on some of the characters. We'll see. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first, I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious, just uh, enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. <laughs> I was over here like trying to hurry up. Alright, we're gonna go talk to Joker and Edie, see what they had to say. It to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, they figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion. Before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. Hang on, let me think about that. If, um, if Le- Okay, so, what Legion was doing, he was downloading the Reaper code from the dead Reaper. So, um, when he received that and he he was trying to upload it to you know the, the, the rest of the geth but maybe okay so what uh, 80 probably means is I you know um, Legion before he used to you know he used to say we as in all the geths as a whole inside that entity the Legion entity the the platform that he was in they were in and now I think the Reaper code integrated the rest of all the Geths in that platform into one being and made itself to be Legion. And at the end, he called himself I. And since he couldn't, you know, upload the code to the rest of the Geth, I think he chose to sacrifice himself at that very moment. He became fully evolved into I. That's what I'd like to believe. What's on your mind, Edie? I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory, but it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. Don't ask them. Impressed you got those two groups together. We'll see how long the peace lasts. Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed that one, too. Now you're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. Another Reaper gone. And peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? 
friends. There are still ones on either side. But maybe one day. The migrant fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Um, let me see. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> pause and read. Oh my gosh. And it still continues. I said I couldn't put my words together. And it's still going. The Exodus cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight in the battle space. Commander, I'm doing a segment on the Geth Quarian War. It should take maybe an hour. Can we talk in your cabin? So I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? You love whiskey. Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Eli scotch. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board. And we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. One step at a time, I guess. You know what, I actually forgot about the Asaris. <laughs> 300 years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. I still can't believe you went inside a Geth. I don't even... Loco. Completely loco. Alright, time to shut down Diana Ellers. <laughs> I'm already, well, Shepard's already with um, Liara, so... Trainer, can you send up Diana Ellers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Hmm. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies and no longer... Dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense, just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before. 
The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. They could use some good news. Aye, aye, Commander. Well, I'm glad she didn't make a move or anything. All right, let's uh, go to the Citadel. Shepard, about 72 hours ago, the reactors had a joint turret. I'm going to retry that. <laughs> Just... Riley is on point waiting for you. Alright. Um, I was going to go to the Citadel, then I realized um, it said um, meet with the Asari Council. I was like, oh, hold on. We got to wait on that. So I came over here. There's actually another side quest, so we'll do this real quick. How long have you served in this outfit, Corporal? Three tours. Been through thick and thicker. The captain always sees us through. Okay. Let's check out what's the damage. The hell? Yo, look! We got an N7 here. Besides me. <laughs> Confirming toxic radiation. That's cool. I never noticed that. Thank you, back to you. Never noticed it. <laughs> Cutting access to most of the grid. Survival and hotspots not possible. Oh she has two. She has on both sides. We need a radiation workaround, soldier. This is a Spectre, I mean uh N72? This is Marine. Captain Riley? Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Mm, me with Riley. Riley. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Okay, hold on. Let me look around for, for a bit. There was probably some stuff around here. 75 experience points. <clears throat> uh, oh, we got something. Materials, chest plate, okay. Okay, uh, where exactly. What's this? Oh. Should I Probably goes to one of the. Uh, you know. Back in the Citadel. Someone at the Citadel. Okay, I guess we go over here. Do not go down there right now. Do not, or you'll die. Like I did. I was an idiot. Got it. We'll cover you till you're clear. Did we come down here? <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> what did I just say? Alright, we're not gonna do that again. <laughs> Alright, what are we supposed to do? Come over here. Yeah, we're we're definitely not gonna do that again because that was pretty dangerous. And I made a Metal Gear Rising reference. Literally. What's, what? I can't even see anything. Directional guidance error. <gasps> oh, 
that's that's us. Okay, I don't even know what's going on. We're down, and it's good. I think. Yeah, it's good. All right. Okay. We're definitely not going down there, right? Are we going down there? Hope I don't die. Whoa, no, no, no. Alright, this, look, this looks clear. There's nothing down here, which is good, I think. I don't know what to do. Hold on. Let me look around for a bit. Is this it? Reactivation is Fuel rods must be unlocked. Fuel rod. Over this side? No. I don't know what I'm doing. Um. I am no fuel... Uh, Fuel reactor expert. So I go down there. Hold on, what is this? This looks like ventilation control. Should do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Alright, cool. Unlock those fuel rods. And now we come down here, right? Yeah, definitely. Is that the thing? What the hell was that? Oh damn it, husks! <gasps> Turian! Turian Reapers! Oh shit, we got something back here. We are! Oh! Oh, we got more coming! There's something up here. What the heck was that? Riley, status. One casualty, but we're clear here. Warning. Coolant leaks detected. Reactors one and two. System restart impossible. We can see it. We both have to seal all the moderator tanks. I see the reactor two tanks moving to seal. Alright. Next area. Whatever this is gonna do. Tank one is sealed and stable. Okay. Here we go. Tank two is sealed and stable. Commander, the core is stabilized. Reactivation can go ahead. Right. Reactivation. Affirmative. Awaiting your word. Initiating restart. Okay. Commander, Captain, I'm reading a lot of movement. Ah, oh, damn it. Incoming! Progress. Lock and low. Oh, they're here. They're here. Oh, they're protected by that thing. Okay, I remember now. I seen one of this before. I think might have blown it, be blown up before. I don't know. Just looked familiar. <laughs> oh shit! Turian Reapers again. Okay. What the hell? Oh, there's probably some up here. Cause more husks. More husks. Oh, Reaper. Turian Reapers. I'll just call them Marauders. more up top okay we got him 
gonna come back over here. Uh, all right, they're down below. Commander, we're being overrun. Position indefensible. We're not gonna make it. Hold tight. One of my people is coming. Roger that. Liara, get them to safety. Right away. Oh, oh, no, no, no. James, we gotta get this done. Oh shit. We got him. We got it done. That was easy. Kinda. They're clear for the moment, Commander. Can't raise Captain Riley. What about oh. Liara? Nothing, Commander. No one's answering my hail. But I'm tracking some movement toward the pickup point. Finalize the restart, then we can rendezvous there. We'll restart? Do. Okay, let's go restart the thing. That looks dangerous. Uh. Alright, I guess we're good. We're good here. Now we head to the Citadel, I think. Hopefully. Commander, you saved our asses. My team is in your debt. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. Good work down there, Shepard. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. Alright, to the Citadel we go. Okay, so we got a few places to go, so we gotta check all this place up. Over here. I found a Prothean sphere on Gehinnom. Contact the Alliance and tell them Commander Shepard asked them to pay you for it. Yes, thank you. I'll call them right now. Thank you, Commander. I've gotten food from my family and for some of the others who are trapped here too. All right, cool. Um, I think. Oh, here we go. Angry Alcor. I recovered the code of the Ancients from Dakuna. It's waiting for you in Bay D-24. With shock and joy, really, this is wonderful news. Thank you, human. <laughs> he talks so slow. This will greatly aid our people. With sincere... Yep, alright, next part. Okay, sure. the Alliance wasn't with this before, but this... Shepard, you made it! Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. I'm eye candy. No. No, don't pick that. Don't pick that, or you'll ro romance a third person. <laughs> we are not going to do that. I'll be that is a great idea, back to you. Do not do that, like I did on accident. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. You're watching the ladies. Yeah, I prefer the ladies. The eye candy on the stage is fine by me. <laughs> Good. I sure don't need you as competition. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard, a good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. <laughs> that could have gone south. <laughs> Me and Liara would have been done for. Oh, thank God. I think he's over here somewhere. War strategist. Actually, I found a Cacleosaurus skull preserved in amber. Maybe you could clone it, or... You're kidding? <laughs> You're kidding. Seriously? Well, um, if the genetic material is intact... Oh, well, why do we... What does it need? We've got cloning oh. facilities on Sarkesh. Cacleosaur genes were remarkably pliable. Cloning might be effective. Really? And they're already riding the first units into battle? Alright, so it's for the battle. Or, uh, did that make sense? 
Ah, oh, damn it. We still gotta meet up with Ashley. A little warning here. You can accidentally romance her as well, so be careful what you pick, alright? This is a nice spot, Ash. Yeah. All the shuttles that being around remind me of when my dad would get ready to ship out. My mom would bundle us all up, buy us ice cream, and cart us out to the shipyard to watch his transport depart. I still have to resist waving every time a big Alliance ship flies by. You should bring Sarah up here. I will, when she's ready. She'll like the quiet. She wasn't the loud tomboy crashing around like I was. Sounds like you were a handful. Maybe. My dad got me. Jamie never met him. He would have liked you. You think so? Career military man? Yeah. Yeah, he would have invited you over, cooked you something on the grill, and talked your ear off. Ever think about what life would have been like outside the Alliance? Oh, sure. Tried to rebel against the whole military family thing when I was growing up. When my dad and I got into it, I threatened to run away with the next guy that came along. Really? He'd laugh and say, Good, I'll pack your damn bags myself. That tended to deflate me pretty quick. He knew I'd never stray far from the family. They're everything to me. It's easy to forget what we fight for. Yeah, moments like that. This was a good idea. Nice to get away from the war for a while. I do feel a little guilty, though. Sure. But sometimes you have to step away or risk going crazy. Too late. No argument here. You're a crappy commander. You're a crappy commander... Sir. Copy that. Okay. I was, I was kind of worried that I was going to jeopardize... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Shepard and Liar's relationship relationship <gasps> right here. I've recovered the obelisk of Karza. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. You have? It's amazing. Thank you, Commander. Imagine being this close to someone. With some very sensitive work. Her name is Tasha Pore. Of course. P Weshra, I have an audio log for you. <laughs> for me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha, thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Oh, well, okay, that's done. Of course, we can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No, evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Seren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities, but Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the Council Embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. And you're assisting him in spite of that? This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me that. We're at peace with the Geth. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. 
The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. All right. War. Okay, here we go. Excuse me. I'm Commander Shepard. If you promise to be careful, I've got something for you. A Reaper code fragment. Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank you. Nice. No, I know what I said. Divert forces to the new coordinates. Trust me. We may not be able to stop the Reapers, but I think we can predict their movements now. Cool. All right. Uh, last but not least is a sorry counselor. We'll do that now. Actually, I think we'll do it in the next episode. So um, make sure to get the likes. The likes. Let me know if you guys want more content with my commentary. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Feel free to share my content to people who will actually support my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mass Effect 3. Back to 25. Out. The last few episodes, we've completed the Porian missions, which was saving the Admiral so that he can lead a fleet. Then there was the Geth simulation. We had to... It was more like a virtual reality type of thing because Legion wanted us to clear up the software that was infected by the Reaper infection or something like that then after that we got everything down we you know everything was all good then came the final mission which was destroying the reaper base i didn't know it was going to be a reaper base until um a reaper actually came out of the ground i was just like yo this is actually a reaper you know i was just so surprised so we defeated it now um the asari counselor is over here asking us to come to the citadel so that we can talk about something i don't know something about the distressing or something like that but anyways welcome back to mass effect 3 this is going to be part 36 i think i'm not sure but i know i got a lot of content to you know edit and everything so by the time you watch this i've already finished uh, editing the videos and by now i probably already know what part <laughs> but Anyways, make sure to get the likes. The likes, let me know if you guys want more content with my commentary. Leave a comment if you'd like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Feel free to share my content to people who will actually support my channel. Check out my older videos. Check out my previous videos. Get to know my channel a little bit more. Uh, I also got Dead Space going on. And, and all that good jazz. I have a friend um, here on YouTube. He's going to be doing some content. So... I haven't even promoted him yet, so I just want to let you guys know if you guys want to jump over to his content as soon as he starts his or, you know, as soon as I start promoting it. But anyways, let's jump right into it. Uh, don't that sound familiar? <laughs> uh, don't that sound kind of familiar? <laughs> I could be misinterpreting it, but... <laughs> Well, I, I might have a feeling about what that is. <laughs> As I promised, we are going to begin where we left off. I left the Spectre uh, requisition, you know, and now it is time to start. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donal Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We are aware your Crucible is still missing a key component. The Catalyst? Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? 
Every species in the Citadel has its secrets, Commander. But this one, in the wrong hands, would upset the balance of galactic power. The Reapers are doing that right now. Which is why I'm bringing this to you. I appreciate the help. It's you who will be helping us. The Matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. You know, I've noticed a lot of glitching on my game. I'm not sure if that's normal, but I probably have to update my game sooner or later. Like, I gotta update. I'm literally playing offline. I'm not even playing online. I'm an offline gamer, just so everybody knows. I play the game in its original... Hey, I am too. I'm an offline gamer as well. <laughs> package. Alright, let's look around for a bit before we go to wherever we gotta go. Excuse me. I recovered the rings of Alun. They're waiting in Bay D24. That's wonderful. Thank you. My people will treat this miraculous find as a call to support their local hospitals. Yes, I'm seeing increased turnout as well. We may actually make it through this war. I came across this treatment plant at a chemical plant. Could it help? Treatment? What is... I've never seen this kind of process before. Huh. Probably experimental. It's a long shot, but let's run some tests and see if it might work for our patient. Any improvement? Yes, the counter agent is finally starting to kick in. I pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. How the hell did you... Never mind. Tech like this? I don't care where it came from. I'll have my people run with this. If the war comes back here, maybe we can save more lives. Thanks again. If we can get it working, this jamming tech will make this place a lot safer. I guess we're good. Um, let's see where we gotta go next. you if you play mass effect 3 on the legendary edition i highly advise you to bring javik because there's some really nice stuff like you'll learn the history about the asari and something unique at the beginning of it when you bring him to thessia so, yeah do that do that all right what about the temple can you raise the scientists? Negative. All channels are scrambled across the spectrum. The mission's looking really dicey. This is too important. It's now or never. Shepard, that's my home down there. I have to go. Then get to the shuttle and let's do this. Liara, do you have anything more on this artifact? These coordinates the Counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Sounds like we're on the right trail. What if we're too late? My people are dying down there. Has he took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now... Maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place, some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I remember your mother. She fought to break free of indoctrination. <laughs> we brought homeboy Garris this time. And this brings all those memories back. What if Thessia faces the same fate? Not for long. We'll find the catalyst and save Thessia. I hope you're right. 
Hey, buckle up. This one's gonna be tight. This can't be happening. Shit. My home. Looks bad. We can't stay up here. We're exposed. Let's yep. get down. I'm gonna pick up some things real What the hell? <gasps> These are all bodies! What the fuck? Oh shh. They're just piling up on bodies. Like. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the captain? The what? Oh, shit. I can't get- okay. Take out these bitches. Damn husks. Oh, shoot, there's some over here. Is that it? Oh, shit, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. Barrier. We have a barrier meter. <gasps> we got more over here. Shit. I'm falling behind. Just go ham on this. Husks, husks. Oh, should we get more? Oh, shit, I can't. Okay, there we go. Is that it? Oh, there's one right here. Mission details for classified, which just means we'll die without knowing why. I know what that's like, but you have to trust the chain of command. We're not even sure the chain still exists. So what are we doing here? We're after a relic inside the temple. It's important. That's what this is all about? One of our outposts has been trying to reach the scientists over there, but we lost contact. Get that gunship moving! Now! I'm sorry, Commander. If your relic has lasted this long, it can wait a little longer. I've lost enough people today. I'm pulling the rest of them out. No. If we don't get to that temple, Lieutenant, this will be the last you ever see of Thessia. You're witnessing the extinction of our entire race. This is the end. And you really think you can stop all that from happening? We've uncovered a Prothean superweapon. It'll win this war. Prothean, huh? How do you know it'll finish the job? It's the only chance any of us have got. This is Lieutenant Curran. Hold your positions. I want a path carved to the temple. Outpost Tychus, we've got people coming your way. Let's make sure the galaxy knows the war was won on Thessia. Make it count. I was okay. here years ago. To see the city burning like this is. It can be rebuilt. Yeah. Watch it. Shit. Oh damn, we got some of those um, whatever they're called. We'll need it to get through this. Oh god. Remember that. Because here they damn it. <gasps> we got one of those things, I think. Oh never mind. Oh. I thought there was that big one coming over here. 
Damn, that's so... Oh my god. See all those bodies again? All those Asarians? Looks clear. Then move! Get off the bridge! Oh, damn, man. That's so sad, man. Like, the Asari... The planet. On that building! We've got fire support! Liara's home. Oh shit, we got... I forgot what was the call of that thing. Oh. To remind you, those things are called harvesters. No. Maybe, yeah. We got more over here. I know. I know. Here. Just Should we get one out. of these things over here? Okay, where do we go exactly? I'm over here lost. I am so sorry, Liara. They have. I don't know. I mean, it's, uh, all the planet. Like every planet, man. But then again, I never thought the uh, the Asari planet would get attacked, or the you know the Asari space would ever be invaded by Reapers. Kind of just pulled them into the war. Oh fuck! Oh no, you don't. Right. Let's get moving before more of them come back. Bitch ass. Alright. Okay, it's this way. I still can't face those things. My own people. No one ever said the Reapers played fair. They hope to break our morale by turning our own. Well, we're on the same boat we are. The humans are getting a bad as well. Turians had a worse. Krogans? I don't think there was... <laughs> I don't know about the Krogans, there, there wasn't that many. Like... I mean, I'm, I'm sure they had Tuchanka, but... I don't know, I don't know how bad it was on... Snipers. Oh shit. Is that the... Uh, uh, sorry, Sniper. Okay, cool. I think that's where we gotta go. Oh no! <gasps> shit! We got a whole reaper coming over here. Hold on. So I want to miss anything. Oh shit. So I want to miss anything. Like somewhere around here, you can find the widow sniper I've been talking about. Oh shit. Wait, Shepard just arrived. It was right, it, like it, it's right under here. Now that you're here, right there. <gasps> we got the widow. Can you really win this war? We get to that temple, and the reapers are history. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Hold on. I think at least it's a little bit better than the other one. I should have equipped the Widow. God damn it, that sound. Huh. <sighs> Kinda gives me anxiety. Freaking Reaper. We're literally underneath it too. Guess we gotta follow the Reaper. What do you mean? I, I don't. This nightmare okay, this never ends. The hell it won't. 
We get to this artifact and we can all wake up. Drinks will be on me. It's been so damn long. <sighs> I don't know about that. We'll see. I just want to know how long Thessio has been like this. Shit. Okay. Is that it? Oh, we got one more of those. Ragni? Fuck. We got it. Next time we go to war, maybe the Alliance can spring for air support. Facts. This way. Move! Never watch out, more hostiles ahead. Oh shit, we got more husks. Okay, we're trying to get the relic. I, I don't know how far how much further we gotta go. Harvester. Is that a harvester? Okay, we're we'll just gonna take him down. It's Rack Knight. Take him out. <clears throat> Come on, Liara. Shoot the weakness. I think that's a weakness down below. Oh shit. Oh, we got Turian Reapers over here. Har uh, not Harvester. Marauders. There's so. Hold on. Come on, just die already. It's one. Now we got this one. Oh, I'm almost out. 120. Oh, 157. No, nope, you're not going anywhere. No, nope, you don't. Oh, thank God. Not going anywhere on his watch. We have to make it worth something. We have to. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mass Effect 3. Back to 25 out. Is it over here? Yeah, it looks like it's over here. Looks like a security lock. Let me take a look. It's military grade encryption. I think I can override it. Wouldn't expect that for a temple. Especially since few still follow the Athame doctrine. Alright. Um we're looking for a relic, right? Temple, alright. Hello? Is anyone there? Doesn't feel right. The scientist should be here. Is it the relic? Around. 
Maybe one of these artifacts is what we're looking for. Artifacts. <gasps> I'm guessing these are the scientists. Take a look at their throats. What happened to them? Back to you. If he went around this entire temple, um, he could have seen other artifacts you can interact with, and we are will talk to you about them. And again, in the legendary edition of this game, if you brought Javik and interacted with those artifacts, Javik will talk about the Asari's history, like way back then. So, yeah, I advise you to do that in your legendary playthrough. They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? The goddess of fame herself. It's a relic of the old faith. An awful lot of trouble for a dead religion. I admit this does seem rather elaborate, even by our standards. Though a thame does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? From what you've told me about the one on Mars, these beacons are a motherload of information. Worth keeping quiet about. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so. You did say this temple was thousands of years old, Liara. That's a lot of time to study it. That doesn't make it... That was a bit of a jump. It true. But think about it. A scientific breakthrough every couple centuries, and your people would be running the galaxy. Which they pretty much do. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. Maybe that's the point. The activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. Okay. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Fine Don't hidden connections. No connection here. To think victory over the Reapers all comes down to this. Find what we need, finish the crucible, and the war's over. I did, don't know what we're doing. I can't believe this whole temple is a front. Best place to hide a secret is out in the open. I don't think that's it. Let's move on. Um. Doesn't look like a connection. Oh, this is like a museum. There has to be another. Okay, cool. I'd say that one counts. So we already did this one. Is there more? It seems each connection provides more power to the beacon. Bet even Something over scientists here. never got this one. Oh, we got another one. There, another one. Another. Doesn't look like we're done. This doesn't appear to be a connection. Sure. We should keep searching. So. I know you don't like the idea, Liara, but it looks to me like your people can thank this beacon for giving. This them. isn't a connection. Keep looking. Um. There's a beacon here. That certainly that does look like it. Look at that. Look at that. You can never forget that. Nothing here. Nothing there. Pretty clever operation they've got here. For a sorry. I heard that. Oh, we got it. I think. What else? That did it. I think we can access the beacon now. We need to hurry. 
This place isn't going to... ...last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post-Prothean cycle confirmed. What are you? Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. Not so fast. We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. Is that... a Prothean? I am the memory of one. I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct of Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. I see Protheans were an optimistic bunch. What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. It fractured our order of battle. Later we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. Sounds familiar. Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps. Though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic Annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. There's still hope for this cycle. We need to know what the catalyst is. Trillions of lives are at risk. Trillions of lives are always at risk. But if the Reapers have arrived to end your cycle, this discussion is too late. We can break the cycle. We found your plans for the Crucible. We're building it right now. The Crucible is not a Prothean design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. Then we'll be the first. Tell us what the catalyst is. If you wish to continue fighting, I will not hinder you. Though I deem your odds of success remote. And he brought Javik for, for the Prothean VI. He actually has unique dialogue where he detects that Javik is a Prothean. We'll take our chances. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the Catalyst too. Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. Oh shit. You. Cerberus Liu Kang is back again. <laughs> Your attention. Someone would like to talk with you. We don't have time for you, Liu Kang. <laughs> Shepard. Elusive man? How did you find this place? The archives. Or did your Prothean expert miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard. Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. How about peace? They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. Oh, come on, Lucifer, man. Just back off. We need this catalyst. Whatever the freak it is. I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? He's literally changed a lot. Like, he's not even himself no more. Like, he's become literally a murderer. You've been spending too much time with the enemy. They're dragging you over to their side. Their way of thinking. No, I just see things differently if you truly care about humanity 
You'll stop fighting me. You'll join me. Don't ever question my intentions. I've sacrificed more for humanity than you'll ever know. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. You've forgotten everything you stood for. Cerberus was supposed to be humanity's sword, not a dagger in our back. Poetic, but as usual, you miss the point. The world is more gray than you care to admit. With the Prothean data in this beacon, I can end this conflict, once and for all. You're either with me or against me. There's nothing gray about that. No, I suppose there isn't. Leng, the commander has something I need. Please relieve him of it. And then it's like I really thought I had him. Understood. Damn it. Oh man, we're gonna have the battle. I thought it was gonna be a cutscene. What the heck? Hold on. Oh shit! You son of a... Come on you guys. We can take him out just like last time, I think. Well, last time. Okay, hold on. Lear, we'll get this. Oh shit! When he's in that state, you can't damage him. He's immune. Shit, yo, that takes you out. Your health so fast. You're going down. Kylan. It's a pity the good ones never last. Take him out. Let's go. There's only one way this ends. Come on. Cerberus thanks you for all your hard work. Oh, you son of a... Oh my gosh, man. Come on, Shepard. <sighs> God damn it. Well, there goes the catalyst, whatever the hell it was. Hang on. It's too late, he's, he's gone. We gotta chase him now. <sighs> Fuck. Cerberus Liu Kang ruined our fun. God damn it. Fuck.
I really think this... I think this part is supposed to make you mad. the information what happened Cerberus was there we were I mean how in the hell did I oh my gosh we don't know how to finish the crucible I don't know what to say what was the situation on Thessia deteriorating fast the Reapers are there in strength then you'll excuse me. There are preparations to make. Continuity of civilization to consider. I never thought this day would come. None of us did. I'm... Sorry. Asari forces are in full retreat. It is no longer safe for us to remain in this system. Get us out of here. Shepard, I... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Liara. Nobody could have predicted Cerberus would reach Thessia before us. It's my job to be prepared. Look at her, she's devastated, like... And now Thessia's lost, as is the data on the catalyst. I'm sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? No. Um, well, there is something. Let's hear it, trainer. I was able to track Kai Leng's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate his destination. But the signal disappeared in the Yera system. Naturally. It's not just gone, though. The signal is being actively blocked. How? I'm not sure, but something is interfering with all signal activity in that region of space. Commander, the Yara system is home to Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war refugees. You think it's worth checking out, trainer? Yes, sir. I do. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. Nice work, Trainer. You've given us a shot. Now let's make sure we don't waste it. I was stationed on Horizon in the Yara system. You were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. God damn it. Like, I, I, <laughs> I'm so suspicious right now. I'm a little upset because I... We were so close. Ah, oh, damn. Fucking Kai Ling, man. The Lucid... Oh my gosh. Cerberus and Liu Kang always finds a way to ruin our fun. Well, at least we got a little bit more. Um, right, let's see what's up. Commander, Cerberus has attacked a comm facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. <sighs> I, I feel like I don't want to play no more for a sec, like for a bit. Ah, come on. Understandable. We're in for another long haul just to get the damn catalyst. I thought we were, s we had it. I, that, I don't know. We're going to have to wait again. I don't know how much more missions we got to do just to get there again. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the episode, the first two episodes. I mean, uh, <laughs> I 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to get the likes. The likes, let me know if you guys want more content with my commentary. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Feel free to share my content to people who will actually support my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mass Effect 3. Back to 25. Out. We're nearing the end. We're nearing the end.